Welcome back to another video. As always, my name's Jasper, and in this video, what we're going to be covering is how to create the dark and light theme um, using Bubble and having a switch to toggle between the two. So let's dive straight in. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come to your plugins. You're going to need to go add plugin, and you're going to need the Ionic elements, and that's so we can have a little toggle. So let's install that. So once we've done that, we're going to come to the fresh clean page, as you can see. We're going to go to our styles and we'll see that currently the background is set to white and then black text where when it goes into dark so that's light mode and then when it goes into dark mode we're going to want a black background and white text so let's set this up so the first thing we're going to want is to put our little toggle there so this is our toggle let's just put it here uh, we're going to set it as unchecked to start with and we'll have it as light now we're going to want to come over to the database and we want to go to a user and we're going to add a new label. You don't have to call it this label, you can call it anything, but I'm going to just call it dark, call it dark mode. And we're going to switch this to a yes and no. Then we go create and by default it's going to be no. Now let's come across over to back into here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have some new what are they called? Workflows. So we're going to create a new workflow and we're going to set a condition. And we're going to say when the current user's dark mode is no, then we're going to come over here and we're going to go to account, make changes to user, and we'll change the dark mode to yes. So dark mode is now on. And then over here, well, we'll copy this. We'll make this one a yes instead. So if dark mode is yes, then it's going to change it to a no. Easy. Then we're going to come over to the screen itself. And we're going to add a condition to the page. And we're going to say when the current user's dark mode is yes. The background color should be black. Easy. Okay, and now let's also add some text to make it real. Uh, okay, there we go. Dark and light theme. And we're going to add a condition to the body style. Now the reason why you want to do body styles and to make the conditions here is because it's going to affect your whole application. So this way you will be able to um, make the changes across the board instead of every individual element. So let's go to conditional and we'll go when the current user's dark mode is yes. We're going to make the color of the font white instead. There we go. Just that easy. So let's give it a go. Just wait for it to load. Okay, so we have our light mode, and then we'll have our dark mode. There we go. So it's obviously got some borders over here, um, so not completely working as we'd like. But as you can see, this background has gone into da the dark mode, and then the light, the text has gone into white, and it can go back and forwards. So it's just that simple. There's, there's an easy way to set up your dark and light theme just with a couple of minutes and set it up across the board for your whole application. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if you did like the video, don't forget to subscribe and maybe drop a like. And if you have ideas on maybe other bubble sort of no-code uh, tutorials you might want me to cover, feel free to drop those in the comments as well. See you in the next video.